Scorpio what is going on you guys I am back at it for the second video for us for May so what's up you guys it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Red Tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time for my Scorpios for May 2020 show me the money energy thank you guys so much for clicking this video thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing thank you so much for riding out with me you guys listen um like i was saying this is the second video i already did a recording for scorpio the other day and it was like full of like the journey of like the masculine energy and I don't, you know, because I'm a Scorpio, I'm a lady, like, I just, you know, I'm like, I wanted to do something for the ladies real quick. I wanted to pick up on some other energy because, uh, now, now, I don't know at what point, point in time I'm going to post this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be after the first video that I posted, but that video got rickety raw. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So it was beautiful. It was a lot of new love energy and all of that stuff like that. It was a lot of beautiful energy in there, but at the same time, it was a lot of other stuff in there. And I just want to see, you know what, let's, let, let's try to see if we can pick up on the Scorpio ladies energy today. Let's see what Spirit got to say. Let's see if we get a change of emotion, okay, and pick up on someone else's story, okay? So we're getting a bonus and um i hope you guys enjoy this video so again um thank you guys for liking sharing and subscribing thank you to everyone who has been booking videos who has been sending love and support through the cash app the paypal the amazon wish list um shout out to everyone if there's anyone who would like to book a reading with me at any point in time click the about tab you can instagram me um and send me a message and we'll be good to go from there my pricing list is on my about tab and you can send payments through cash app or paypal and um excuse me i want to give a big shout out to um mr dennis and to uh he just made a big purchase for us through the amazon wish list so i just want to um give a big shout out to him and just all of my supporters and everyone who's been right now and supporting um the channel during this whole corona thing thank you guys so much so let's get into this energy first off let's give father god thanks so father god thank you so much for um just beholding us right now in your favor you know you've just been uplifting us and gifting us and keeping us you know um in favor during this time father god you've been keeping us strong and determined you know we are on our path to where we're destined to be father god we've been feeling safe we've been keeping you know focus on the key principle fact of what we're supposed to be doing in our life father god and we just thank you so much for healing us father god we thank you so much for renewing us for replenishing our faith and just everything that is positive and real because it is so real father god everything that you dream of everything that you feel like you're destined to have everything that you've been hoping and you've been relying on your faith for father god he was show you that everything is real and it's very tangible and you can have everything that you've ever wished for as long as you put that self-love and 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 you put the galaxy in your heart you know what i'm saying honey anytime that you feel lost listen you just go ahead into that in a galaxy of yourself and you just explore every listen you, remember how they always say you can't never feel like you know everything because there's always new things to learn. There's always new things to explore in that galaxy of yourself. There's new stars. There's new uh, worlds. There's new everything in you. You know what I'm saying? Like every different gift, every different like blessing in art that you can manufacture, that you have. It's like a different world inside you that you should explore and everyday new worlds are being created inside you as your gifts are developing and they're growing. So we just thank you so much for just, you know, us being in this stage in our life where we've come out of the darkness and we're just like really circulating our galaxy right now and we're just like enjoying every single measure of our blessings at this time father god so we just thank you again for blessing the sign of scorpio please give us guidance for today and every day um we're focusing on the month of may 2000 please give us guidance and um uh, thank you for keeping us in safe keeping and listening to each and every one of our prayers and just showing us um that you're there in our life um 
walking alongside of us in this blessed glory. So thank you so much. We claim your victory. Uh, give us guidance for Scorpio for me. Thank you. All right. Let's get into the Love Oracle deck first, y'all. That's my eyes is going on over there to the green. I have no idea. And y'all know the uh, spiritual hippoc law. <laughs> I can't. Every time I disconnect from readings, I never remember what I, re I, I remember me having to pull out the shadow cards because there was like. There was an energy that was in the other reading that I was like, what's up with this person? You know what I'm saying? So I just remember that. And that's all I remember. So let's just see. We just want to leave that there. We want to shake that off. We want to get into this new stuff. So give us guidance. For my Scorpios. For May. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Blossom. Come on. Come in. Yes. Nurture. Continue to nurture yourself. Continue to just like feed yourself grapes. Listen, pineapples. You eating your salad. You're eating very balanced, nutritious meals. Uh, uh, grilled turkey. Like all, you know, all of that good stuff. All of that good stuff. None of that heavy junk food. You're not snacking too much. You're making sure that you're doing your exercise. You're drinking enough water. You know, you're doing your little steams and stuff like that. I'm seeing like someone doing, um, what y'all be doing? Like, uh, 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 like sauna steams and stuff like that. I'm seeing like someone steaming. Like towels on them, like steaming. Like trying to sweat out something. Observe in the reverse. So again, this is good because in the other energy, there was like an observer, but it was not Scorpio. It This was someone outside of Scorpio. And that's why I wanted to definitely do this video all over. I feel like right now you are nurturing yourself. You're not paying attention to nobody that isn't positive in your life. Like you are so in tune with yourself and keeping yourself balanced. I don't feel like you're watching or paying attention to anybody. You are focusing on your blessings. You keeping yourself balanced and prayed up <laughs> every day. You are communicating it with that number three. It's like you are you you are universally um communicating to God, to the world, to spirit. You know what I'm saying? Just like shining out victory. Like you're really claiming victory over your life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the door is open. Like you just want all the messages, you know what I'm saying, that you can get because like you've been just like relying on faith right now. So it's just like I'm here to receive all of your messages. I'm here to go what you want, you know, to do what you want me to do. The sun is shining. Like you've been revealing things with my life. I've been growing, you know, everything that I've been knowing that I should have been doing a long time ago. Like it's finally, you know shifting in my life where I'm actually able to make things happen in a different way so I don't have time to observe and look at what other people are doing it's like I'm seriously focused on myself listen I can't take the lead if I am focused on what other people are doing you know what I'm saying I can't do that and right now you might not be trying to take the leads and taking the lead is being responsible for other people you know what I'm saying so I know how to nurture myself and take the lead in my life you know to do what I need to be doing but right now me trying to take the lead as if in an organization or having people following after me and me having to watch over other people and observe what other people are doing and manage personalities and things like like no I'm not I'm not in a place right now where I'm willing to do that um because it would it would like I'm trying to tell you what you are communicating or what you were trying to bring into your life right now, you cannot focus on other people because it will interfere with the blossom of your blessings. I cannot focus on anybody right now. I can't um, focus on trying to take the lead and trying to be a leader right now. You know what I'm saying? I can't be a leader right now. I need to um, only focus on myself and I need to nurture myself at this time right now. Um... And with this right here, it's saying like, um, pay more attention to the things that 
you want to grow because I feel like it may be getting too much sun. It needs a balance of water as well as the warmth of the sun. You know what I'm saying? So it needs your intensity, your passion, and your love. But it also needs like that on pour of that um, emotional pour too. So it's like if you are... Like I said, observing other people and trying to help lead other people in other direction and trying to teach other people certain things instead of focusing on your own garden right now. Sometimes people have to understand, do not feel bad about having to focus on your own shit. Sometimes you sometimes you cannot take care of the fucking world right now. OK, you cannot do that. What they always say before you. Try to save anybody else. If the plane goes down, you make sure that you put your own, uh, uh, your mask on first. You take care of yourself first. Then you help other people. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you can't emotionally give to your garden. It needs the emotion. It needs the water as well. If you are emotionally trying to lead and observe and take care of other people and stuff like that, your garden will go dry. And you'll completely miss your harvest. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's see. Give me guidance for Scorpio. Scorpio said, I'm on a self journey right now. It's like I'm focusing on my money. Um, and it's not just necessarily about money, but like you're trying to develop something. I feel like you're trying to develop comfort, security, happiness. The two of voices. Right now, she is sitting in. You know, she's sitting down um, thinking about everything, and, you know, very deeply. Um, I don't see you getting up and making a move or anything until you've kind of sorted out all the information, all of the truth. I don't feel like you are. Um... Yeah, you see how she's been rolling around in the sand and things like that. So it's like... <laughs> um... Like, she'd have got her hair dirty and all of this stuff like that. So, I feel like you're kind of, like, at a crossroads and thinking about a decision that you need to make. I feel like this is the decision where I feel like you are going on uh, your, based off of your senses more than what you see. Because if you think about the Justice card, the Justice card is a lady sitting there with her sword of truth only thing she she don't want to if she's able to see the people that are presenting the information to her and she's able to see who it is she might be able to tie emotion to it you know what i'm saying because i might be her friend i might be someone that she knows i might be a relative of somebody that she might someone asked her to look out for versus her really listening to the facts and making a true choice based off of like legitimate truth and worth so i feel like you guys are taking that principle to this that's why your blindfold is on this time it's because i need to go off of what my intuition and my raw senses is telling me it's like i don't want to look at the facts i want to just listen to what y'all are saying sort the shit out of my head without do you guys understand what I'm saying? Because if I have to... Have you ever felt like you wanted to express yourself or tell somebody something, but every time you got that opportunity to speak your truth and you look at them... And they're facing, like, you know, that ever looking sad or they're doing whatever the fuck they do. And it's like, it always softens your heart where you don't never really pour out and say what you intended to come there to say because you saw this person and their energy and stuff was able to influence you and was able to throw you off and stuff. That's why the judge, the, uh, the justice card has that blindfold on. I don't want to see you. Just tell me what the fuck is going on. Let me go off of my intuition of what I'm feeling. And I'm just going to judge. You know what I'm saying? Without bias. You know? So that's what you guys are doing right there. I feel like you guys are in a crossroad. I feel like you need more information um, before you can decide to give at this point. Um, I feel like you are definitely blossoming in a lot of financial favors you're in a predicament where you are able to help yourself and help others so this might be 
where you're having to come to a choice on if you're going to give aid and take care of something or someone. Someone may need to be under your wing right now. You know what I'm saying? They might need your time. They may need your attention. They may need your resources at this time. And the way you're set up is like, of course, I'm willing to help you, but my gut is telling me to let me think about this shit first. You know what I'm saying? Because um, once you give, you can't get it back. And one thing about this Six of Pentacles card is like, it's giving and receiving at the same time. Like, I don't want to give to someone that if I'm in the same um, predicament later, that they turn their back to me and they're not, you know, in a either not in a predicament to help me or not going to help me. You see what I'm saying? So I really got to think about this first. You know what I'm saying? Because it's my money. It's my time. It's my effort. You know? So it's my information because Pentacles represents education too. You understand? So that might just literally be someone wanting to come and sit down and discuss something to help them out financially later on. And it's like, I don't have time to help you right now. Like, I'm rolling in the woods trying to make decisions in my own life, taking care of my own garden and shit like that. You know? So if I help you, would you help me? You know what I'm saying? That's 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 basically what it's about. Like I told you, 2020, show me the money energy. You know, I got to make sure before I invest and do anything um, that I'm going to get the return on it. And it's not necessarily about that, but it is about that. Listen, the seven of material in the reverse, because this is about a wasted time. Do you understand? The seven... A pinnacles in the upright is someone that is patient, someone that has faith, someone that's put a lot of energy in something because they're expecting to receive a full harvest. The seven of pinnacles in the reverse is like, um, I'm going to put it to you like this. So you got this garden. It's flourishing. It's prospering. Right? Someone says, hey, can you give me some of the seeds from your garden because I want to start my own garden and stuff. And you say, yeah. That's cool, but I don't have time to teach you how to grow your own garden, okay? I'm about to give you a little bit of information right now. Make sure that you thoroughly listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to tell you again. I'm not going to have time to watch over you and observe. I'm not, I'm not a micromanager. You know what I'm saying? So, after you take my lead so that you can lead yourself, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to teach you one time so that you can be able to lead yourself in the future and you don't have to come and ask, you know, to take for my blossom and harvest again. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to teach you how to grow your own garden. So listen once because you won't be able to listen twice. We will not be having this conversation twice. Okay? Okay? And this is still me even thinking about if I want to give you some roots for my garden for you to harvest so all right and it might be a deal it you know what i'm saying because still like i said this six of, of pentacles is like it might be like a loan or like someone investing in you or something like someone investing in a business or something like that helping someone you know so they might say i'm gonna teach you how to do this but I'm expecting a return, you know what I'm saying? I'm expecting you to give me my money back, you know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping on the interest, just, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you give me my money back later on or whatever. Or if I just need it, just make sure that you're able to help me, right? So they agree on it. So you give them the money, they are happy. But you, like I said, you're not micromanaging them. You're not trying to lead them because you're trying to lead yourself. And you already gave them something from your blossom and harvest, Right? But this is someone that didn't listen to instructions. That might have been a little bit impatient. They might have tried to pick at the fruit or do shit to it before it was even ready, before the shit was ripe. You know what I'm saying? And then um, might have still been impatient and just said, oh, well, fuck it. I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? And then just started not tending to the water. You know, start. Okay, there you go. They stopped 
tending to watering their garden and just doing the things that they needed to do and it didn't blossom because it was too much sun and they didn't put the emotion and the love that you were doing that you told them. it's like you're telling them you're telling them what you needed to do with that six of pentacles you gave them help but at the same time you gave them enough resources so that they can help themselves in the long run but whoever it was wasn't um a very good student you know what i'm saying just like not a very good student because at the same time, like this seven of pentacles could be someone that easily distracted, easily distracted from a goal. And it's like it kind of ruined everything. So not only did they ruin their aspect of being able to pay you back, but they still don't even have nothing for their own self. So it's like if they. When they do come back to you, now they're talking about how none of their flower blossoms and I'm hungry. Like, can I eat over here and things like that? And you're like, motherfucker, like, <laughs> didn't I give you something? Didn't I help you? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, again, someone making a decision that if they want to get themselves dirty, if they want to, you know, it's like, I can't go off of who you are. I got to go off of what you're saying and what makes sense to you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I might have helped you before. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, I'm not going to sit here and watch over you. And I don't have time to do that. I have to focus on my own blessings. I have to focus on my own harvest. So this is someone that, again, it's like, I'm not, I'm, I don't have time to watch over you. Okay? So if you don't pay attention and put in the work in that you need to do to your own crops and you're and, and you completely miss your harvest then that's going to be your own fault it's like don't come run back here to me because i'm i helped you and i'm trying to help you but i can't keep helping you you know clarify the seven of um material please it is like a loss of resources what is this the queen of voice see this is that same card from the other uh reading um but let me see what i'm getting from her here um so the scorpio might end up just like being bluntly truthful to whoever this person is and the queen of swords is like someone is just like uh, I'm not going to necessarily tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you the dark truth that you might not want to hear about yourself. Like, they're saying whoever this is is lazy. Like, they don't pay attention. Like, they lose focus. They're not on track with their goals. And it's like, you look for people to take care of you. And it's like, I can't continue to do that. Um, especially not in this situation. So it's like, I might have to cut you off, you know? Um, it's like things, something is growing tired. It's, I feel like someone is growing tired. Someone is growing old of having to watch over someone and always having to come and be the rescue ranger. Nigga, this is not Chippendale's rescue ranger, motherfucker. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is not Chippendale rescue goddamn ranger okay so let's get over here with this unicorn deck and see what this got to say but i feel like she's going to end up having to tell someone a cold bitter truth um it might unlock and unleash some cold deep secrets about someone that someone don't want to fucking face about themselves that they're lazy and it's like your heart to try to teach and to educate like you make me not even because it's something about this woman's unwillingness to she really had to sit down and think and communicate about it she wanted to help whoever this was because it's like i'm not i don't want to lead you i don't want to like shit don't grow with you like you don't listen you know what i'm saying like you don't listen give me guidance Okay, you got miracles and prosperity that just popped out here. Okay, so it looks like Scorpio is in a place right now where they're going through an abundance of growth right now. Like I said, they are nurturing all of their blessings, all of their seeds. Every seed that they're sold has 
ripen for them at this moment. Okay? There's been no drought. There's been uh, no lack of sun. There's been a complete balance of everything in their life, which has brought a beautiful, successful balance and harvest, like karmic balance into their life. Like, honestly, um, since miracles, have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the bow. So it's time to take a bow, you guys. I love that. So, listen, you see all that blue and all of that green? This is a beautiful card right here. So, yes, everything that your heart has been wishing for and been aching for, a lot of deep, listen, that's a lot of deep blue right there. Oh, honey, there's a lot of solid communication about to come through. Like, miracles do come true. And number one, they start with you. And it's going to come in the form of prosperity. It says a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So that's why this Scorpio is like, listen, I do not. And, and the thing about it, Scorpio, is like even though the Scorpio knew that they really shouldn't give to this person because they were still going to fuck it up. It's like I just gave you like all of these seeds of all of these different fruits and vegetables. I gave you a few fruit trees to plant. Like how the hell you fuck up planting some fruit trees? Like what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like you're not listening and you asking for something. It, it's like. This is someone that wants you to continue to give, give, give and shell out to them. But this time you did not shell out. You gave them resources so that they could take care of their self and they blew it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, don't come around me now with your hands out. The six of material is someone asking for assistance, asking for money, asking for aid, asking for help. Don't come around here doing that if you're not prepared to make sure that you um, uh, uh, aid it to success. I'm not going to give you money. I will give you resources to help you create your own money. If you don't want to do that, I can't help you because you don't want to help yourself. And that's just straight like that. And Scorpio don't have... And y'all already know Scorpio just don't have time for the fuck shit. You understand? Like Scorpio is not about to sit there and keep playing with you. Um... Just buy this miracles card, please, for um Scorpio. And it's like I love you. Like this has to do with some family member or like a personal friend or something like that. I was like, listen, <laughs> and like love is way deeper than just intimate relationships. That's why when I do my readings on my channel, I don't focus on. Well, let's see what the, the partner that you're dealing with, how they feel. I don't give a fuck about that. You understand what I'm saying? We have to take care of the fundamental aspects of life before we can focus on that. And sometimes the bigger things that be going on in people's life is not their love and relationships with the person that they're being intimate. That could be okay. But other things in their life might be disarray. You know, and that's why they come like a lot of the, the readings that I've been getting have always been like life purpose, like things going on with uh, people's dreams and sorting and like I said, sorting out personal things with people's family members and stuff like that. Um, people have been focusing on them, that galaxy within their self, trying to process and create miracles and prosperity in their life. You know, so give me guidance on miracles, please. Okay. Okay. okay, you got the three of wands right here at the bottom of the deck. So the three of wands looks like you guys are um, at a safe distance, it looks like. Uh, for for me, typically the three of wands represents someone waiting for like uh, to go on vacation or to go on. You guys might be waiting to go on vacation right now. It's like someone waiting to travel or do, you know, go somewhere. Um, but... They're telling me, like, you guys are at a safe distance uh, away from wherever you are from. So, I don't know if you guys have already traveled and you're already settled where you're at. And now you're waiting so that you can leave to actually go on a vacation. Like, you're waiting to travel. But, I, but they're telling me you're at a safe distance already. So, like, that might be a miracle. And I feel like you guys have wanted to, like relocate you know what i'm saying to the hold on the sunny side of the streets <laughs> y'all remember that that's 
song at school on the sunny side of the street you guys wanted to like move to the sunny side of the street where like people are um oh lord <laughs> now they're singing keep smiling keep shining knowing you can always count on me for sure that's what friends are for <laughs> listen <laughs> So listen, that's what friends are for. Like, are you guys about to go? I feel like you guys are about to go on a vacation or something with your friends. Are you guys about to go to like Hawaii or some shit like that? That look like that look very Hawaii-ish to me. That looks very Hawaii. Okay? The nine of wands, it's like you don't feel like you have to like hold your guard up anymore. Like you're safe to kind of move around. Like you feel like you're safe to move around. You're at a safe distance from anything in the past that kept you unhappy. That's why you're like, I don't have time to like watch and lead motherfuckers that don't want to learn how to blossom their own flowers. Like, I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you this little change. I hope you make change of it. Okay? Because I'm not about to keep being in this position with you. I got, I got things to do. You know? And I'm not about to keep holding my guard up with, with people like you because I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Um... I feel like this person is trying to be at a safe distance from uh, people who are always begging and wanting for something so they can focus on their own prosperity so they can let their guard down. It's like, I don't want to live in a gated, uh, it's like, I don't want to, they just said, I don't want to live in a gated project facility. So what that means to me is like, I don't know if it's like people that, kind of grew up possibly on public assistance or a gated community or like neighborhoods where people got bars or their windows or um because i have cousins that lived in the suburbs and literally they go to the store and they leave their front door unlocked like their neighborhood is like that chill and that safe where they leave their doors unlocked and i think that they're fucking crazy they leave their doors unlocked and they don't have any blinds on their windows like their whole windows is these big grand beautiful windows and they and it's just like they just leave it open so like literally as people are driving by they can see how lush and beautiful and expensive and <laughs> wonderful their house is on the inside it's just like amazing for people to have that sense of security where um they know that they are covered like that and i feel like that's where this person moves like where it's like a not a gated community or anything like that um people are free to kind of roam around people talk people speak to each other everyone vacations everyone is smiling like, that's what friends are for like the people like the neighbors like they look out for each other and things like that like there's no sense and no need to kind of like be guarded like there's no fights there's no drama there's no frustrations and shit here um the king of swords in the reverse so it's like um the king of swords in the reverse is someone that is not he's not a trustworthy person and if you see this guy he is cute and he cute oh my god <laughs> he's cute he's cute but he ain't shit though you understand let me see what they're saying the hangman so this is saying you had to say distance from feeling like you have to be protected from someone that is i want to say very um intelligent to the point that they know how to use their intellect and their gifts uh and their vernacular to manipulate people, um, to be awkwardly distant, like one minute you're loving, one minute you're awkwardly distant, like, um, someone that has a very, uh, magnetic flair with them, because, like, the King of Swords is someone that, I want to say, is a very wor worldly individual, so, um, like I said, they're vernacular. Like, this person can even speak native tongues and um, just can be very intriguing by the way that they dress. They might, uh, I just want to say that this person is very intriguing because they're very worldly. 
they're very smart and intellectual and it's nice to sit down and have conversations with this person but with this being in the reverse you don't know if what they're telling you is the truth or not but it's amazing stories that kind of get you sucked up in it and they have all of these little trinkets and stuff that kind of like go on with the lie to, with the, you know what I'm saying to kind of get you hung up in whatever type of fairy tale and illusion that you know what I'm saying that this person is trying to kick to you to try to swindle you and like to me I know that the king of pentacles in the reverse could be like a gang leader like a con man or something like that but this one is a car man on another level like this one is someone that would do some type of like wire or identity theft or something like that to you like this is someone that'll get you trapped up in um a conversation whole time they got somebody behind your back like taking a picture of your credit card or something like that so like that's how slick this person is like this person works their organized crime is like um it's a little different do you understand it's a little different it has to do with a lot of communication it has to do with they can talk you out of your money do you understand like you can't even go to to, to the police and tell them that they conned you or they manipulated you because they said it made you feel comfortable with them and their worldly stories and their things and stuff like that that you ended up giving them the money freely you see what i'm saying so it's like how can you know it's like you willingly did these things like you got hung up in whatever stories and lies and manipulation that this person told you so like that's what i'm getting from that i feel like you're a safe distance and you're like your world's away from this person from people like that and then the hangman represents someone that is secluded like I said someone that is at a safe distance it's like you know you might have stopped resisting and stopped fighting with God like trying to remove this person out of your life it's like now you're suspended in air at a safe distance kind of like swinging freely like enjoying like this seclusion and everything like that you see all those rooms all those signs and things at the bottom of that it's like you guys are picking up messages and you guys you see the, the sun around her head do you understand and like I said do you see this it's like an onslaught of information it's teaching you how to grow how to it's like you you are like mysteriously gifted and abundant in many many ways right now and it's like because you stopped looking at other people and stop and started looking at yourself and started looking at your health and started looking at your wealth and started looking at your spirituality and your connection with spirit and not worrying about things like this you see what i'm saying because they're going to fall on their own sword on their own sword because they're going to manipulate the wrong person one day and they're going to be a victim of their own treachery and that's always what happened to people people like that always fall on their own sword they always get conned by one of their own cons. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like. You're not even. Feeling like you need to even. Pretend. Like you're such. And this might be a miracle right now that. You are kind of. I feel like you are enjoying this seclusion. I, I really do feel like you're at a safe distance. I feel like you're just hung up on receiving this information. And enjoying this bounty of this harvest. And understanding everything that God was trying to show you at that time about this person it's like you know it's like now I'm hung up on faith a little bit you see I'm trying to tell you you see how that sun is illuminating it's like you are understanding the victory and the warmth around your life right now and you might be secluded away from someone watching this person fall on their own sword a little bit like being a victim to one of their own cons or tricks or something like that um because the hangman is able to, again, be at a safe distance and be hung up at a different angle so they can sit back and watch and be able to see something at a safe distance so they can understand something in a better way versus them being right dab in the middle of the shit. Because if they was right there, still connected with this person, they would have still been... They would have still been caught up in the illusion and the con. You know what I'm saying? They would have still been caught up in the con. 
Now they're so far away where they're able to see the signs and they're able to see the con. You understand? The four swords and the perverse is basically someone that already went through, like, they're, like, they're tired of being secluded at this point. Like, you know, that's why this person is going on a vacation. It's like, I want to go out around people. I want to be at a place. I want to have fun. It's like they finally sold their heart back into their chest. Remember, when they first got into this Four of Swords, the Four of Swords was, is when someone comes off of the Three of Swords. And they have to deal with the heartbreak. They have to, like, internalize it and figure out the lessons that God was trying to teach and, like, how did they get in the situation? Like, they went through their whole soul's journey and their whole emotional and mental process. And it's like crying it all out, letting it dry, feeling healed, feeling inspired to get up and get back out into the living. You know what I'm saying? So, this is someone that had to take an old, worn out, broken heart out, loved it back to life sewed it back in her chest and is ready to go out there for that success like really mentally prepared and like really well rested you know what i'm saying so that's why like, this person like i want to go party like i want to go out what is this the ace of cups in the reverse the ace of cups in the reverse the eight of pentacles the page of cups the six of cups the sun the hermit the king of pentacles all right so let's read this here so what does this basically say? The Ace of Cups in the Perverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So the Ace of Cups in the Perverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. You guys, um, you're not accepting to love that is immature. Um, you might want to date, but you might not be accepting to date younger people and you might be getting a lot of love offers from people that are extremely younger than you <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you might not be willing to i don't want to say stoop that low but it's like yeah like i am not your type because i'm a little bit older than you you know what i'm saying i might be a little bit too seasoned for you and the you can't even really offer me love like I don't even think you even know I don't even think you would even know where to begin with you see what I'm saying <laughs> to even like build anything with me so I feel like this is someone like rejecting some type of love offer from so, look look when pigs fly when pigs fly like child by like I don't think so like when pigs fly, like I, I, like you're cute and everything like that, but like, mm, like maybe your, I, like where's your father at? Like I'll date your father, like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't got, I don't got this to do. It's like the six of cups. Um, you guys have like really over like whatever mistakes and things that you went through in your past time right there. It's like you taking the rose colored glasses off. Like, um, I feel like you're cool on even visiting your family right now i feel like you're just off somewhere like enjoying a new life somewhere um because a lot of things that you possibly went through in your past could have been because a lot of family issues and things like that and that's why it's like i feel like you needed to be so far removed and be at a safe distance from anything that kind of reminded you of any of that old existence like that it's like i don't i don't I just want to like bask in the sunshine like I, I just want to be happy I don't want to be around anything that reminds me of any type of past hardships any old family drama you know it's like I just kind of need a break from all of that shit right now I'm just like breathing new air into this new life that I have like I'm just really kind of just like celebrating and like really enjoying this new gift that I have, you know what I'm saying? Like, this summer is mine. Like, I'm really about to enjoy myself this summer. And it's like, I kind of want to just enjoy this kind of all alone by myself. Like, um, you're still, you're, you're out there, but you're still in hermit mode. I, I feel like you might really be on some solo dolo shit. Um, it's like, I want to go on. Like, you guys have learned how to be. Like, truly by yourself and go out and enjoy and experience life and have fun 
without feeling like you need family, without feeling like you need friends and things like that, without feeling like you need a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially someone that um, doesn't know how to build with you because it's like I'm too grown to still be experiencing immature men that don't understand or have a sense of value in life itself for their own self. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'd rather be alone. Like I'm just vibrating so high on, you know, me experiencing the victory of just enjoying being peaceful by myself right now. And unless it's someone that's really coming with something to offer, because even with the King of Pentacles being in the reverse, I still look at you at as a page. You still a little boy. You ain't got just. You too grown to not have your shit together. You too grown to not be able to make enough money to take care of your family when you going out here having all of these kids and you got all of these obligations and shit, but you don't got enough money to take care of it. That's someone's this is a grown ass fucking child to me. So it's like being prosperous and not taking on unnecessary burdens that are not your own. You know what I'm saying? That's honestly by not surrounding yourself by people who don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. To, to, you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't like, I'm good on that. I'm good on that. I, I, I'm good on manipulative men. I see that for what it is. And I'm at a safe distance so that I can see that for what it is. And I'm happy for that. And I'm and, and I'm ready to reintroduce myself to the world. And I don't give a damn if I'm cold and distant with people. Because I'm meant to be like that. I am destined to see victory and happiness in my life right now. Like, I'm prosperous. And... I'm financially growing. I can't I can't grow if I'm continuously giving to people um, that ain't willing to give to themselves, really. Because if you listen, this man might be the lone wolf right now because as grown as he is, he don't have anything to offer to create a family. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that I've always tried to teach to my younger cousins and things like that watch these older men that come and prey on young girls and it's a reason why they don't date women their age is because they don't have nothing to offer women their age and the women their age they rather be secluded okay with all of the knowledge that they know they know better you understand I'd rather be hung up on me being successful by my goddamn self. I've already seen the signs with you. I'd rather stay at a safe distance and watch you fuck up somebody else. Like, because you, the only thing you offer is just some shit at a page level. You know what I'm saying? No matter how grown you is, it's like being able to, like, spiritually see, you know what I'm saying, beyond someone's age and what someone should be and see what the fuck they really are. And that's what's bringing you to prosperity. I'm not going to help you in giving you money i will help you in telling you one time on how to get your own money and i'm gonna give you the seed so you can plant your own and if you don't want to do that i don't got shit i can't can, listen i can't be surrounded by people like you baby listen the whip you gotta crack the whip on motherfuckers do you understand what i'm saying and for some reason it seems like when you crack the whip on people people seem to be more influence to what you gotta say when you're like that. I don't know why when Scorpios are uh, aggressive and mean, people seem to be more turned on and seem to be more willing to do what. <laughs> that is the craziest thing ever. It seems like they enjoy like our verbal abuse or something like that. Like they don't really. Uh, get their self together and get their life together until we crack the whip on them. But it's like they like it. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're sexy to them when we get angry or when we get mad and things like that. It's like that's when they really get their shit together. And it's like that's irritating. Listen, the Jack of Clubs, the Jack of Clubs is someone that's of service. That's someone that's willing to work for the honor of the company. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you having to quack the whip on someone to finally get someone in shape where they actually <laughs> really ready to wear the badge of honor and be a, 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 a loyal and a dedicated employee. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? The letter. The letter right here. The letter represents communication. Um, 
the seven of spades is like some unexpected communication or something like that. The whip could also mean like a a a, a, a argument. Um it can mean an argument, like someone being abused in some way. Uh, it can mean purging, like someone getting a spanking, someone getting um, punished. You know what I'm saying? Someone getting, um, what's the word? Do like dominated verbally. Reprimanded. Yeah, like getting a spanking. Like... Give me a guidance in the public, the mountains, the garden. It's going to start like someone's going to be getting. Someone's going to suffer some type of like a verbal lashing in the public eye. Um. Mm. Someone's going to end up going through. The garden represents like something that's out in the public. That's for everyone to see. So I don't know if you're going to end like if someone ends up sending you some type of um, message or something. It's just like I feel like you don't expect it. And the spades spades is like something that's like not good. That's like a tower moment, like the fucked up side of a tower moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially with the whip being there and all of these other surrounding cards. So. Um, I feel like it might be some communication that you're not expecting. And it could be very much so like someone asking. And it could be someone asking because the, the, the mountain represents an obstacle. The uh, eight, a spade represents work. Represents work. So someone might be going through some type of obstacle in their life. They may need some type of assistance because there's some type of burden. So there's some type of blockage. There's some type of challenge. Um, it could be them getting to work or something like that or getting some type of work. Um, something. And the eight of, the eight of fucking spades. Hold on. The seven of spades, the eight of spades. Bitch. <laughs> The eight of spades represents someone being like incarcerated, someone being in prison, someone being um, secluded from the world, like unwillingly, someone being locked away, someone being burdened by something where they're not able to kind of get out of a situation a little bit. Um, eights means like as above so below like giving and receiving like you know uh taking responsibility taking authority for something you know what i'm saying because what you put out you put in so yeah. you might end up having to tell somebody to fuck off because like again and it might be in a public fashion for all to see it's like listen I know that, like, this is what y'all like. This is what y'all want me to do. This is what you want me to do. This is what you want me to do. This is what turns you on. This make this what makes your dick hard. This is what makes you wet. This is what you enjoy. Me having to punish you. Me having to verbally abuse you. Look, baby, don't fucking call. Don't message me no more. Do not message me no fucking more. Like, for real, for real. I, like, I really hate to do this out in the public for all to see. But, honey, I refuse to uh, go through any obstacles any burdens with you you're not going to delay me in my path do you understand you're not going to get in my pathway i don't know what type of situation that you need me to help you to work on or something like what, what what's on the other side of this mountain what is going on here again it's like someone is going to be what's on the other side of this mountain this eight of clubs the clouds, I'm trying to tell you. It's like Scorpio no off the break. It's like you're nothing but trouble. The only thing on the other side of this mountain, I'm not, you know, this is 
the mountain is someone that needs to put in a lot of hard effort that really needs to put in a lot of determinant work you know like regardless of the blockages and obstacles and the barriers that's being put in front of them it's like they're still willing to climb that mountain and it's like Scorpio is like telling them like in it's like they're suffering from some type of verbal fucking lashing from the Scorpio and it might very well so be in the fucking like someone might be suffering from some type of public embarrassment do you understand what I'm saying okay and with this uh Eight of spades. Now I'm realizing this could be someone that was locked out. Like this could be someone that you had locked out from being able to communicate with you on pu in public. Like it's a social media or something. I don't know if this person somehow got around um, this barrier. I feel like someone could have got around this barrier that you put. And it's like you might end up giving this person like a verbal tongue lashing. But I feel like this person is willing to accept this so i feel like this person gets turned on by this shit but at the same time it's like this person is trying to bring misfortune and like storms and problems into your life and it's like you're not willing to allow this person to rain on your parade especially not when you have all of this success and this no, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Give me some guidance right here. Give me. Let's put some love on that. Let's see what we're doing. And then you got the King of Clubs right here with this cloud. So it's like, oh Lord Jesus, oh no, I'm putting all this back. I'm not taking it because I fell in my lap. This King of Clubs is someone that is like really willing to work. Like this is someone that is very action oriented right now. But it's like this person could be coming with a whole bunch of drama behind them. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of drama. Um, and you're very resistant of it. And it's like, I, I'm i not willing to... You ain't about to put me through no pain and suffering and shit. I will personally... Right, I'm just... Like, no. Fuck no. Go. Let me tell you publicly so everybody can see me telling you to get the fuck on. Please go somewhere. <laughs> like, I don't know who the fuck this is. But it's like you're not willing to help this person. <laughs> and you were not even expecting this person to contact you. Because I want to say that you put a public block on this person so they could not contact you publicly. Do you understand? So that they cannot speak to you in the public. It's a self-indulgent engagement ring. Okay? So... Okay, you've been focusing on yourself and on your self worth. You've been doing your shadow work. You've been focusing on your time to heal. It's self appreciation. It says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, um, completion, union. So whoever, which I know is a lot of the Scorpios. I just had a personal reading with a Scorpio the other day. Okay, and we talked about the other reading and. I didn't tell her I was going to do this other reading, but I'm glad I did do this other reading. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I really do feel like this one is for the ladies. This is for the ladies. Come on. This is for my honeys. Listen. So listen. The ones that's been self-indulgent right now, remember the one that I said has been staying at a safe distance from like anything that reminds them of like an old past time that they don't want like these people are being hung up they're no longer resisting like the messages from god like they are free from resistance right now it's like they are willingly um kind of like enjoying being suspended in the air with they like they don't care it's like they are just being suspended and basking in information in the glow of a new day um, they've been self-indulgent. They've been taking care of themselves. And it looks like an engagement ring is on the table. Give me guidance about this engagement ring. Ooh. Separation. It says sadness. Missing you. Thinking about you. Yearning. Unsure of a future. It seems like you've been in separation for a minute. You guys have been in separation. It looks like you guys haven't been. And it says not talking. It seems like you guys have been in separation and not talking or interested. It says talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting messages. Um, an awaited message arrives. Text, call, email, hoovering. It seems like you guys have been in separation. Like you guys might not have been engaging with 
anyone in like a loving and romantic type of way. Um, and now, you guys might be coming out of this like moment of seclusion and being separated from love at this point in time. You might be smelling the roses and be open to communicating and talking to people. You might be hoovering over some text messages, hoovering over your email, you know, hoovering over your phone right now and um, open to talking to people right now. What is this? Ooh, stabbed in the back. Wait. What is going on, honey? Now that came out of... But you know what? I, I know how this is trying to read, and I'm trying not to read it that way, but I should just go ahead and just do a photograph. Okay, listen. All right, listen. Oh, my gosh. So the person that has covered your way, this is someone that you've... <sighs> It's like you've already got to say distance from number one. This person was blocked. Okay. You've publicly blocked this person. You put a barrier up from this person because you knew that this person was nothing but trouble. You're going to receive a message from this person. Somehow they're going to be able to get over this barrier and this blockage that you put with them. It's like this person might have been very determined with that mountain card right there. Like this person climbed a fucking mountain to like this person went through extremes to be able to get over this barrier of communication. Like I feel like you're at such at a safe distance with this person when literally you don't even have like a barrier. Like I it's like I feel like I feel like you forgot about the fact that you even needed to protect yourself from this person. Like you're at such a safe distance and you so just don't fucking care about this person anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. This person is going to get around this barrier. You're going to give this person a tongue lashing because you have been self-indulged right now. And this person might be, not even might be, I feel like you've been so self-secluded and been so self-indulged. And at this point, you have really healed over all of that old shit for real, for real. And you put your heart back in your chest again. This person could have very much so been watching you and, um... This person feels like they're in a safe place to be able to offer engagement. This is someone that you have been in separation from a long time and you have not been thinking about. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that stabbed you. Listen, you have not been talking to. Because remember, these cards came out in the reverse if you've seen the way that they felt on the table. But I'm just trying not to read them like that because I didn't want to read into that shit. But at the same time, it's like... You got to, you got to, because a lot of this shit be a warning. And now I am thinking that this does have something to do. Um, it could have something to do with the first reading because the male energy that's coming, the woman is already cracking the whip on them and giving them and is reprimanding them and is giving them a spanking and is, you know, having to discipline this person be publicly. You know what I'm saying? Because I blocked you publicly. I put up this burden. And then you were burdened. Like I put this barrier up publicly. So that you could not communicate with me publicly. I don't want to talk to you. Listen. I don't want to talk to you. I'm in a separation with you. That I don't want to get in this out of a separation with. I don't want to talk to you. You understand what I'm saying? So this person has not been hoovering over their phone. They have been self-secluded. Been going through the thing. Because they really do want an engagement. Right? They really do want... A healthy a harmonious relationship you understand this is someone that stabbed them in their back a long time ago they have removed <laughs> they have removed look they stabbed them with a needle you didn't even really hurt me as bad as you thought you did you understand you hurt me a little bit you understand I've been long healed from that basically do you understand what I'm saying okay I'm not a victim of your betrayal anymore. That's why this is in the reverse. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person can't do this to you anymore. This is someone from the past. This is someone that you have old photographs of. And clearly they might be looking at old photographs and memories of you. Pictures of nostalgia. Do you understand? It says looking at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Okay. Making new memories. Alright. Um... But it clearly looks like you are going to discipline this person. You're going to discipline this person. Give me guidance about this form of discipline. 
give me guidance about this form of discipline this outcome with this because clearly we see what this is we see what this is and it's like again like I said you're not observing this person anymore nothing is blossoming there someone that doesn't know how to take lead like I feel like you're nurturing yourself like give me guidance what is this love call again you might be not receiving love calls right now because I feel like you have this person blocked I really do feel like you have this person blocked like you do not want to come out of separation with this person like you're not talking to this person this is someone that you took the you took the swords out of your back a long time ago only thing this person could probably do is maybe look at your pictures and this person can't call you this person can't call you oh jesus what is this this is a lot i don't really want to read all of this this is a this is a fucking lot but we can do this though okay we can do it we can do it i feel like someone is being forced to look at the uh man in the mirror or been forced to look at their own reflection um i want to say this person is, with these sunglasses is keeping itself hidden um maybe under a profile that you don't know about um yeah this person is having to look at the listen relationship reflects um, wounds introspecting like this person is having to look at old photographs look at you under hidden profiles you understand watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out like yeah this person is definitely stalking you um coffee so what this is saying to me it's like this person is hoping to like bump into you at like a coffee shop at random or something i feel like this person has been watching you and it's been looking at the listen oh my goodness like what is this camera mm. reminiscing keepsake perception learning from the past making memories so it's like this person ever can't stop looking at these pictures or it's not I feel like this person, the snake, yeah. It's like you're not able to create new memories. This person really wants to bump into you by accident or something like that. But I feel like they're not able to create new memories or share any new photos or something like that. Or they're not close enough to you where they're able to take pictures. They're able to stalk online, but not close enough where they can, like, get close enough to photograph you or something. The snake, this motherfucker is not allowed to slither. They're not, a, they're at a safe distance. They're at a safe distance, but I feel like this person is still hammering away because they see you at a place of abundance in your life. They might have just released this karmic situation that they might have been in if they were in a karmic not if they were in a situation but they're not in a karmic situation anymore but clearly you're definitely not about to get in a karmic situation with them neither you know what i'm saying what i'm saying like your life is in a state of abundance like you're not about to get in a fucking karmic situation look the heart with the key so it's like welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together perfect so you might be the one scorpio that might have the key to this person's heart right here um the cassette it's like they don't want to listen to i feel like this person possibly gets triggered by like old love songs or something like y'all might have a song or something um and y'all might have an anniversary coming up or something like that. Um, and it's like it's hard for them to hear that song or something. Like you still have the key to their heart or something. Um, but this not today card is in the reverse. And then the soulmate is in the reverse. So I just, I just I really feel like it's not today or not any day. I feel like. You are self-indulgent. I feel like you really do know your self-worth. I feel like not today and not any day. It's like you know that this person is, is not your soulmate. Um, I feel, With this girl talk, 
you are enjoying your time with your friends and you're making healthy choices in your life. Like I'm I'm serious. I'm really serious here. I'm really serious right here. You are not even about to allow this person to sliver near you. I don't even feel like God is going to let this person slither near you. Um, for you to make the same mistake again, especially if this is someone in your past, it definitely seems like you're blocking your, pla your, your, your past. And if this has anything to do, if this has to do with a lover in the past or something like that, I feel like you could have possibly given this person enough in the past when you were around them, um, when you were trying to nurture that situation, uh, that they should have been able to learn and grow from. It's like you don't have anything to give to them any, anymore. You don't watch them. You're not even making an effort. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't. You have definitely got to say the distance. Whoever this is, and this is the character from the past, you look at this person as the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse. So this person doesn't have anything of value and, it def and definitely doesn't have anything to say that you want to hear or that you believe. You understand? So I believe Three of Wands are at a safe distance. You don't even feel like you're, such, you're at such a safe distance that you are vacationing with your doors unlocked because <laughs> your security code, like your alarm system is that vicious that you probably have dogs on like rock wallers on the premises or something like ain't nobody coming up to your door <laughs> like or something like that. Do you understand? It's just like, I don't even feel like you even feel the need like you really seriously have to protect yourself like this person can't even get to you and even if they do you're going to listen the star in the reverse like again this is um the star in reverse is like lack of faith lack of hope lack of wisdom lack of intuition you know what i'm saying it's like um i don't really i'm not wishing on a star like this is just something that would grant your wish at all. Um, and I feel like you're not making wishes on things that just don't make sense to you. You know what I'm saying? That are not worthy of your energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So whatever this situation is right here, and I feel like that's why you're going to crack the whip. It's like I don't have any hope and no faith in that. It's like... Um, the four of wands and, and yeah, it's like I divorced you because you cheated on me. <laughs> I divorced you because you cheated on me. All right. And with that rainbow heart right there, I mean, you, you, you might have been like a same sex thing there. You know what I'm saying? Someone could have been cheated on with someone of the same sex. You understand? So... Uh, you know, like this could have been a man that his wife cheated on him with his with her girlfriend or something like that, or um, a girl who her, she might have found out that maybe a friend wasn't a friend or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's only for a few people. That's only for a few people. So only take that if that resonates. But it's like I don't have any faith in this because I divorced you because and this is. We're not, we're not reuniting. We're not getting back together. We'll never get back together because you don't know how to be faithful. You don't know how to be honest and true. And you always are being manipulative. And only thing I know that you're very vibrant at is learning how to stab people in the heart. And, you know, I'm just like, um, there's not, there's no victory in that. Give me the outcome for <laughs> Give me the outcome for this conversation even though we just seen what this outcome was. Give me the outcome. That's too much. The world's in the yeah, I, uh, I don't feel like this is going to go forward. This is not traveling forward. This is like a halt. Like it's like it's not going forward because the world in reverse is like someone that has yet to learn a lesson. You understand? And that's why.
things cannot proceed to the next level and it might be someone that is very stubborn because it's like fixed energy you know what i'm saying it's like very fixated and not trying to recover from the lessons from the past it's like you keep repeating the same shit thinking you're going to get different results so this person could have possibly went from one world into another and could have did the same shit you understand what i'm saying but to someone else and it's like a com a complete ongoing of a cycle and it's like i don't want to be any part of that you know i really don't want any part of that at all this person might feel like they have unfinished business with you, but you're like, our business is very much finished. Our business is extremely finished. The page of cups in the reverse. You don't know how to really offer love. You're very immature. And I am I'm too grown to even communicate with you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even understand what you're doing right now, even trying to say shit to me. Listen. The six of pentacles in the reverse. If I help you, if I give anything to you, even my time, which is very precious to me. We're not even talking about money. Pentacles can represent time and energy. I would regret every fucking second and penny of it. The four cups in the reverse. I ain't drunk anymore. Okay? Let me use correct grammar. I am not... <laughs> I am not illiberated. Am I saying that right? Elibriated. I'm not elibriated anymore. I'm not drunk. I'm not high. <laughs> I'm not confused. I am very fucking aware of what is being offered to me and I am rejecting it. Do you understand? So I'm pretty sure you were nervous about coming up, contact me in the beginning because I'm pretty sure you knew I was going to reject you. Well, let me double down on that. Um, yeah, you probably should not have contacted me because like I'm completely woke on your bullshit. There ain't nothing that you got that I want, my dear. You understand what I'm saying? So let's not be confused, sweetheart, about uh, what I look. Look, justice. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Do you understand? So, um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to take care now. Bye-bye then. So let's find out what's going on in the future in love for Scorpio. Okay. And yes, I am using all of the decks. I'm using all of these decks. Because this is my sign. I like this energy. I really do feel like um, the other reading that I did, that was the masculine Scorpio energy. Or that was the masculine energy that is coming towards a female Scorpio. And this is the female Scorpio energy. Alright? I definitely am getting that. Because I'm just like, what is going on? And, um, the masculine Scorpio has a lot going on in their, in their life. That's all I'm going to say. So, I hope y'all watched that video. Give me guidance. Oh, okay. Feathers. Protection. Indestructible. Okay. So, we got feathers here. We got protection here. And love. We got indestructible. I feel like you guys are protected. You guys have very strong bones. Um, I feel like you guys are very mentally strong and know this in completion here. And again, I always look at that. I always feel like a condom. I feel like you guys are definitely protected in anything that you do. I don't feel like you're um, having any unsafe sex or anything like that. I feel like you have completed all cycles and um, I feel like you are um, you are protected to like I, I don't mean to go have safe sex, to go date, to go engage with people, to go meet people. I feel like as long as you're using protection like you're good. I feel like mentally you know exactly what you're doing. Um What's this? This information, the songs. Um, I really feel like this is listen to positive love songs and use your imagination, you guys. Um, it says songs and information. So I feel like as long as you listen to positive music, you're going to have positive experiences because I really do feel like your emotions, you don't realize it, 
but your emotions are really triggered and your moods are designed around the type of music that you listen to because y'all listen to music all day every day when you wake up you turn on music and you, when you're in the bathroom taking a shower when you're cooking and cleaning you listen to music when you in the car you listen to music when you're doing your work you listening to music okay even when you're doing your homework with your kids you might have some light music turned on in the background and shit so it just ain't quiet like you always got some music so your music is your vibrations to your soul to your heart it helps create and cultivate your energy for the day feed yourself a lot of Beautiful new love songs. Positive new love songs. Oh, Lord, the snake, the forbidden. Y'all, I swear, you guys, I'm so serious. Like, I really do feel like... There is some... We just... We're being warned. We're being warned. I really do feel like this person is going to try to break a barrier of communication blockage that you put up for them. I really do feel like someone is slithering around. They are watching you guys. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely feel like you are not breaking your silence other than to give someone a tongue lash and then tell them to go to fuck on somewhere. Um, you do not want to talk to these people. As you can see. You talking to your girls and you're being self-indulgent right now. You already completed those cycles. And you're mentally indestructible. So, um, last closing message for Scorpio. What is this here? Again, y'all are coming out of the seclusion no matter what. You're tired of resting. You've already went through. You see the three of swords right there in the reverse? You're over that. <laughs> you're going out the door with your new Knowledge of truth, like you already know your truth. You already know who you were. You know what you gave to the situation. That this shit don't determine who you are. This shit has no reflection on you at all. I feel like you've healed. You've grown so far past that. People won't even, people wouldn't even know that you even experienced that. Like you are so positive and so carefree and so loving. You know what I'm saying? And so joyful right now. You know, like you are so protected with those feathers and everything like that. It don't matter. And snakes are always going to poke their heads up out of the grass. And as soon as they do, bloop, get your ass out of here. Go make you a, some, some snake skin boots, bitch. These boots were made for walking. And that's just what I do. Okay? Because these boots were made to walk all over you. Get your ass up out of here. You understand if I make some snake skin boots? Okay? Listen, you're unhinged. You're unhung. You understand? You have successfully downloaded all of the information that God wanted you to receive. That God wanted you to believe. And that God wanted you to achieve. You are getting down. You are claiming your victory. And you're going on your path. You're going along your merry way. Listen, you guys have been in a mental prison for a little bit. You guys have been trapped, and I feel like you guys have been scared to kind of reenter, to kind of get. I want to say like we have been inside so much that um, it's like we almost didn't want to get down. Um, like kind of willingly enjoying the seclusion here. Um, let me guide this one this eight of eight of swords here. But like there might be something that there might still be left to think about before you get down. It's like you're trying to figure out it's not a bonds. It's like you just trying to figure out the next form of action. It's like um things might be coming very quickly to you and I feel like before you get down, you need, it's like you need to, I don't, I don't know, okay, because this did fall over here. Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Eight of the Empress. So the Empress is someone that has been redesigned. She's clairvoyant, that's what they said to me just now. Um... She can see right through people. She's very beautiful. She's very abundant. She knows when people try to attach and hang around her for what she is and what she has because she's very abundant. Um, she is very beautiful. She has very nice things. Um, I feel like you have recreated. You have redesigned yourself. And you're very fertile. You have a lot of blessings that come to you. Um, what is this? 
the sun in the reverse. I feel like you're not with this knight of wands in the sun. I feel like when things come too swiftly, too fastly, I feel like this might bring this empress a little bit of unhappiness because it's like if things happen too quickly, it's not giving my crops, my seeds enough sun to give it time to grow. To really make it successful. To really bask and enjoy the sunshine. So, um, I feel like the last parting words here. It's kind of get out of that mental. I feel like in the past possibly. Maybe with this snake. Things might have went quickly. Things might have went fast. It's like before you got a chance to look up. It was like this person was in your life. Or maybe you were trapped in a situation. Or something like that. Um, then it's like you never got to see the light of day. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You got wrapped up in a situation. And, like, and you got imprisoned into whatever this mental thing is with this thing in the past and it's like you were never able to see the light of day so I feel like this woman's fear and this worry is it's like I want to get out I definitely am not hung up on the old situation anymore I feel like she just has a fear of um everything that she's accomplished everything that she has gained so far Listen, having the correct balance and not trying to desire things to be rushed. Like, it, everything has to have the appropriate sunlight. Remember, I was saying that in the beginning. Remember, I was saying that in the beginning. And I feel like that's what she was trying to tell this other fool. You understand? And, and, and she gave him the seeds and... They were impatient. They, they they were trying to move too fast. They were trying to harvest things too quickly. Or they waited too late. And they, they weren't patient. They weren't taking care of their harvest and stuff like that. And again. Um, with this Ada. With this Ada Swartz. This is someone being trapped up. And not being able to see and understand. You know what I'm saying? Swartz is understanding. is intellect. Do you understand? It's knowledge. You know, it's the truth. Not understanding the truth, you know what I'm saying, and being tied up in seeing that if you don't slow down and allow things to get the appropriate amount of sun, the appropriate amount of vitamin D, nutrients, and all of that things, things will never be in balance. You understand what I'm saying? Things will never be able to amass the amount of wealth that you're trying to to accomplish do you understand what I'm saying the empress she truly does know how to make things grow it is time for you to not seclude yourself in the house anymore and have yourself hung up on old situations it's time to get outdoors it's time to tend to your crops listen to the instructions carefully because I'm going to tell you one time and I'm not going to tell you again it's your chance to finally get out here and see if you can balance things and, and it's like don't be scared give me some last advice for the um eight of swords the high priestess it's like you you know what you know and what you don't know it will intuitively come to you i feel like you shouldn't be out there just willingly trying to give people information that they're not ready to receive you will intuitively know like i said you are clairvoyant you can see right through people you have a spirit, spiritual gift of abundance right now where you have a vast amount of knowledge. Way beyond what anyone could ever imagine. Use your intuition. Um, I feel like you should still keep yourself. This is still someone that is in seclusion. That is not talking to a lot of people. Until she could like set them out and um, see into them. Like. She uses her into her clairvoyance and she peers into people very deeply before she she reads people before she even opens up her fucking mouth. And she already knows them in and out. You understand what I'm saying? She knows them in and out. So at the end of the day, it's like, don't be burdened by um, 
Because Scorpios, we move fast. We move fast. We move fast, especially in relationships. When we see something we want, we want it. We move fast. So I feel like you guys have accomplished a lot. You are very abundant. You have a lot of prosperity and things like that. Like, And things are going to come to you swiftly and things like that. But give everything an amount of light and energy. Natural energy that it needs for things to be in balance for it to grow you know what you know you know how to handle people what is this the king of condition especially someone of your own fucking kind okay this is another male energy card that is in the reverse all of the male energy cards listen i feel like you know in every in every single source air <laughs> fire water earth you know how to deal with an upside down individual in every single source and every single matter. For that matter, do you get me? You already know. You already know. You already know. And snakes always pop their heads out of the grass. It's only a matter of time. And you are well prepared. And it looks like you are well educated on how to get rid of them, girl. You have no problem with telling them off. So I wouldn't even worry about that. Listen, Scorpio, this has been y'all's long reading. I hope y'all appreciate it. Me putting all of this energy and this effort and this time into doing this like this. Because y'all got two readings. And I know your readings are way longer than any of the other signs. Because this is my sign. And I wanted to give a little extra love. And I just, it was, it's, I'm serious. It was something about, it was something about that energy yesterday. It was so male dominated. I was like, is this, is this even Scorpio? Cause it was like, either this is the energy of the person that is outside of Scorpio or this is the male Scorpio's energy that you, y'all already know how male water signs can be when they do not be, you know, when they be that king of cups in the reverse, y'all already know how it is. So it's just like, okay, maybe that message was for them. Let's get a message for you. You know what I'm saying? For my unicorns out here. So um, you guys seem like you are well on your way. Y'all know exactly what y'all going to do, what y'all not going to do. You're not going to be persuaded to do anything otherwise than what you already mentally pay, uh, prepare and you know. The cons, you, it's like you already know people. You you already see through people. You already know the consequences and the repercussions of getting involved with people that you have no business with getting involved in. So you guys continue to crap that whip. Listen, don't take no lip. And don't give a flip about what nobody got to say. Do not let people bring dark clouds and burdens into your fucking life. Especially when you already know what energy they coming with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Scorpio, miracles do happen. And maybe this is a miracle for you guys to finally really, really be over whatever this is in the past. And, and like, tell motherfuckers off. Like, you know, people, when, when you over it, you over it. And you guys are over it. O-V-E-R. And listen, I'm, I'm, listen. I've given you enough resources. I've given you enough information throughout the time that you know me. Where you should know how to plant seeds and be prosperous on your own. If you didn't go wherever you were. Because I wasn't watching you. I wasn't following you. I was not paying attention to you. I was not giving a fuck. Right? So you should have had enough information. Where you shouldn't have had to watch me. You shouldn't have to worry about me taking lead. And you should have been able to blossom your own bloom without me. Okay? So, I don't know what you need help with. I don't know what you need help about. You understand? But I've given you help. Okay? So, if you didn't know what to do with it, you don't know how to plant your own seeds and make it grow, sorry for you. I wish you well. Take care now. Bye bye then. Listen, this has been the Scorpio reading. If this reading resonated with you, if you've been sticking it in with me throughout this whole reading, and if you were stuck to this table like glue, all right, until I was through, thank you so much for all that positive energy and love. Y'all make sure that y'all click that like button. If you would like to book with me, just go ahead and click that about button on my YouTube page and send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, and I'll get you all set up on Google Hangouts. Listen, Scorpio, I love you. Thank you for loving yourself or being self-indulgent, all right? Keep claiming victory on your life. Ladies and gents, I love you. Peace.